Hey, how you doing? Alex here. Thanks for joining me. In today's episode, we're going to be looking at the top high school baseball teams by state for 2024. Now, of course, this is going to change. This is the preseason look. So Perfect Game put out what they are saying are the top teams for each individual state. And we're going to look at every single state here. And I want to hear from you. I, I believe that this is going to be pretty controversial. I'm sure we're going to hear about some teams. And I want to hear, please comment down below of what team you think is the best in your state. I really want to hear because I'm genuinely interested in, I don't know every high school team. I know a lot of these high school teams because this is what I do. But I want to know more about the good teams in each individual state. So please comment down below if you feel like your team or any other team out there that I should be aware of or that you believe should be the top team in that state okay so we're going to dive into that and if you're new to my channel my name is alex swinston i'm a former division one college coach scout and recruiter and now what i do is help high school baseball players and their families navigate this college recruiting process and put them in the best possible position to play at the next level so if you get anything from this video if you have fun with this video if you comment down below please smash that like button and subscribe i'm going to put out rankings or take a look at rankings i should say over the next couple weeks not just from the high school we're doing that today but division one division two division three as we go through the season for 2024 and before we get into the rankings i want to talk just a little bit about uh, my premier athletes recruiting platform i know a lot of you guys are either parents or high school baseball players that are going to be navigating this college recruiting process and you're probably wondering how to best do this and there might be some overwhelm I'm not sure what to do and all that stuff and i have a platform that's baseball specific that walks you step by step through this process so you don't have to go alone at it uh, as far as how to best get noticed, how to communicate with coaches properly, and to streamline this process as you're seeing here. And a lot of these emails can be just written for you of what they're looking for uh, based off of your individual information to recruiting, video series, uh, developmental tools, targeting schools, emailing college coaches, what questions to expect from college coaches, uh, camps, every aspect of it. Also, of finding schools that are recruiting your position and finding schools that are a good match for you as you see over here and five questions that you can ask but check that out i'm going to leave that down in the description you can click on the link and just quickly go there if you're interested to just check it out you can check it out uh, for free uh, completely and then also the premier athletes app uh, as well is a option so with that said let's go on and hop in and taking a look at the top high school baseball teams via and really what perfect game is saying so let's go on and dive in here so perfect games top high school by state in 2024 pre-season look so i'm going to go on some of the highlighting the top uh states if you will most populated states if you will and uh we'll start with alabama so oxford they went 37 and 7 and shout out to Alaska having a baseball team, by the way. Service up there in Alaska, they went 16 and 6. Arizona is Hamilton, 26 and 5. We have Arkansas Valley View, 27 5. And again, I want to hear from you guys of what you guys think down below of who you think. We either agree with this or you don't agree with this. California, we have Corona, uh, as far as they went 22 and 11, Perfect Game thinks they are the best team going into this year by state, and obviously California is a huge uh, state, so that says a lot about Corona and the guys that they're there. Uh, they have uh, there. Colorado, we got Broomfield, and then uh, we're working our way down this District of Columbia, which is DC, St. John's. They went 30. One in one last year. And then, of course, we have Florida. I'm sure this is going to be controversial here. We have IMG Academy. They did go 25 and 0, but there's a lot of good high school baseball programs in Florida, and of course, in all of these states uh, here. And then we have uh, Georgia. Uh, Loudest is 29 in 13. Georgia is, you know, just a state with that's packed from a talent perspective. And Hawaii, I'm not going to even attempt to say the same because I'll butcher it. But congratulations to this school, and I know there's a lot of good baseball out there as well. And then we have uh, Illinois, Lincoln Way East. They went 31 in nine. Indiana, Carmel, they're 19 and nine. We have Iowa with Johnston. And Kentucky with Trinity, they went 33 and 7. Louisiana, we have West Monroe. 
Maryland, we have Archbishop uh, Spalding, 22-6-1 last year. Mass, Austin Prep. Michigan, we got Northville, they went 31-5. And, and Mississippi, uh, this is going to be controversial too. We got Lewisburg coming in at number one there, 29-8. And, and some other top states here as far as New Jersey, uh, Gloucester and Catholic, I think I butchered that, but uh, take a look at them. I mean, they're they're a super interesting team. To New York, Poly Prep County uh, Country Day, rather they went twenty four in two. North Carolina, West uh, West Lynn Christian uh, is seventeen in six. Uh, so a lot of good baseball. North Carolina is probably one of it's starting to become well known, but. One of the most underrated baseball states in the country. It's really, really uh, good baseball there. And then we have Oklahoma, Bixby went 32 and 8. Uh, Oregon, Westland, 29 and 6. Pennsylvania, Malvern Prep, interesting there. To South Carolina, Somerville, 23 and 9. Tennessee, uh, Farragut is 36 and 8. Texas, all right, very competitive state. We got Flower Mound. 37 in 10. Virginia Battlefield with 13 and 7 there. Uh, to West Virginia and Wisconsin, we have Oak Creek 23 and 6. So I want to hear from you guys what you think here. What did they get right? What did they get wrong? Who would you say is the top team or teams that uh, you need to be aware of or I want to be aware of too that you would inform me uh, to take a look at because I'm super interested in finding good high school baseball programs would love to hear from you if you have any questions about anything about the recruiting process please comment down below feel free to reach out to me and I'll see you in the next video take care